Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to learn loop pass and str split. So if you're interested in these two items, please continue watching. All right, let's start off with loop pass. I've got a simple example here. And in this example, I'm going to create a variable to contain three values, red, green, blue separated by commas and then I'm going to run the loop pass command on the colors variable and I'm going to use the comma as the delimiter and backtick is required as an escape sequence to mean comma as literal. You can also use other delimiters such as tab, space or angle brackets or any other characters as long as they are singular. So now in the loop we're going to display in a message box the color number, index, and the A loop field. So if I save this and go ahead with running it, I'm going to get color number one, which is the first iteration, is red, this value red, um, which is represented by A loop field. And then the next one is two and green. Last one is three and blue. All right. Now, if you want to apply multiple delimiters, this is the way you can do it. So in this example, I have got six different colors. And as you can see, I've got a comma here and then a pipe and then a colon, which I'm not going to use as a delimiter. This is there um, just to demonstrate that that is not being used as a delimiter. And then a pipe and a comma separating those colors out. Now, I am going to start initializing this variable at zero and then kick in the loop pass command um, and perform the pass on the colors variable and here is the comma to use as one delimiter and then followed by pipe without any spaces so this is how you can provide multiple delimiters so if you want to use angle brackets or any other characters then this is the way you can provide multiple delimiters in order to separate the string out based on those delimiters now what this is going to do is this is going to display each of the loop field within the iteration of the loop and then it's also going to show you the delimiter that it has encountered so let me just go ahead and run this first and explain to you with the example so the first thing it, it, it identified is red and the delimiter that it has met is comma which is correct now that delimiter comma how that has been extracted is based on the position so now the position initially when when the loop started the position is zero and then the first thing we're going to do is to add the length of the loop field which is three in case of the um, of the word red there are three characters in red and then add one to make it four and then the, the character in the fourth position which is extracted by the substring so colors position and this refers to one character right so starting from the position the one one character that starts from the position becomes a delimiter which in which case it's going to be one two three four so comma and so it just keeps doing that by adding the, the string length of the new a loop field with a number one and then so it moved on to it moved on to the next uh text that is passed and it displayed green and then it extracted what was the delimiter that it has encountered in the next iteration of the loop so on and so forth so we'll see see here blue a colon yellow because colon is not considered a delimiter it just grabbed both a blue and yellow and considered it to be one a loop field all right so i've got cyan comma magenta and delimiter is nothing because there was nothing after magenta now, if you want to use a string instead of single characters like comma and pipe, you can use this little trick. So in this example, I've got a line of HTML code. And in this instance, I'm going to use the BR tag as my delimiter. What you can do is you can replace all the instances of BR tag with a special character like this which is rarely used in real life and you've got all these other special characters you can also use instead of that special character and then you're going to pass the variable using that special character so if I go ahead and run it then I get all the lines of the string that is separated by BR right 
And so I've got a slightly more complicated example to wrap up loop pass. Again, I've got a HTML code, uh, slightly longer, but it's still short. This kind of looks like this. So you've got uh, you've got a paragraph, you've got the header, and then line breaks that separates these lines out. And what I'm going to do is I am going to find, first of all, using the needle one, going to find the beginning of this paragraph and then find the end of this paragraph by using these methods. I've actually explained this in a previous uh, tutorial, so you can find the tutorial that talks about substring and study this method if you want to know how to extract just the piece of text within two needles that you provide and then I'm going to pass this or before I pass it I'm going to do a string replace of this variable um, to replace all the BRs with the special character and this this just means I'm going to replace everything as I did before to use BR as a delimiter and then perform a loop pass on that variable using that special character. So if I go ahead and run it, I'll get first line a index first telling me that the first a loop field is two force line breaks in a text use the BR element. All right now, so that's it for the loop pass and let us move on to string split. What string split does is, I've got an example here, it's a simple function and what it does is it will split a string into an array of substrings. Now as an example, again I've got colors variable which contains red, green, blue, orange, four colors separated by spaces. Now I'm going to create an array called color array using the string split function and feed in the colors variable and this is the delimiter that I'm going to use which is the space and I'm going to display the max index which is the count of the elements within this array basically and then display the third item in the array so that's going to be blue and then I've got another example that uses comma instead and this time I'm going to use a for loop to look at the array index and color of the elements within the array. So if I go ahead and run this, then I get as the result of the first example, a number four that represents the number of colors, which is the maximum index. And then the third one is blue, as you can see. And then in the next for loop, it's going to show me one red, two is green, three is blue and orange. So this is how you can use the string split command and now I have got an example that uses both loop pass and string split. So what I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to create a variable that contains all these lines of texts and perform a loop pass on the lines of text by using line break as a delimiter and then I'm going to uh, split the string within each line in the variable which is a loop field by an equal sign delimiter and then what I'm going to do is to run a for loop to display the value that is stored in index and value so the index and value can be anything I can just put i and j right so I can just call it i and j and what this basically does is because I'm doing a string split, the first element that goes into the, the newly created array called var will contain first name, surname and gender in each iteration of the loop. So in the first iteration of the loop, it will contain first name and then J is going to be the second uh, item in the array, which is going to be John. right? And then in the next loop within the loop pass, we'll look at this part of the string and then it will store surname in i do in j and then so on and so forth so if i go ahead and run this first of all i'm displaying the entire variable in a message box like that and then it will go into passing each line based on the line break and display field one which is i i is first name first name here first name here 
And then if I press OK, it will go into the second field, field 2, within the current variable, current var array, and display the element that is in the second field, which is J. And then the next one, surname, do, gender, male. Alright, this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.